Hey guys, it's Mr. Light here, and today we're doing an Angel Feather Curio deck pro. So, um, with the Angel Feathers, the damage zone is basically your hand. Um, retrieve stuff from the damage zone, put it onto the field, put it on your back and forth, whatever. Basically, if you have a damage in damage zone, expect to get it back if you know how to play it right. And your opponent should expect you to have it get it back too. Grade 2 is same idea. Grade 3 is same idea. When you have a card in damage zone, thing is basically the other hand. So today we're gonna go with the Curio deck profile um, for Rekka's deck. Uh, not much to go on here. We just like just I want to pick. I picked Curio as my ace card because it just calls a deck. Like, I like Curio better. Um, I Curio better as a Vanguard and the other one. Or its name right now. Uh, the, the triple rare, it's just, eh, it's just not much you can do. Curio has a little bit more utility, personally. So, Fair Vanguard, Sunny Smile Angel, but it didn't turn, when this unit boost, draw a card, return to deck as a heal. So this is your extra heal. Five heals, basically. We run grade three, Battle Koopy no Nocio, this is the grade one. When you place, put a card from your hand into damage zone, and you do add a card from damage zone to that your zone is your second. Four perfect guards. In four thousand red pegasus, every card that's put in the damage zone gets plus two thousand, so it just stacks. Honestly, putting cards in damage zone, re putting them back in your hand, you're just gonna get a bunch of power and just thousand red pegasus. We run two uh, Dockroid Micros, which is the damage, uh, soft damager. Read two, is we run two uh, Love Machine Gun Noxio. This season is Noxio season, but I'm not really caring enough to play Noxio. Get get this yo because it's eh. it's Angel Feather. It's not my clan, but I pl I'm played every now and then. Then four uh, million rain paces is the same thing as a grade one. Every two every card that goes into damage zone it gets plus thousand. This is also when it's on um, when it's um, on your turn on your when you're getting attacked on your. Then we run four Gatling shot. Barbell, which is NK attacker, and three self damagers. Now, grade threes. Uh, four Circle of Saw Curiel. Time blast, uh, sorry, limit break four. When this unit attacks, a Vanguard gets plus 5,000. So when plays, time blast two to call a card from Demon Zone, put a card from the top of your deck into your. And if it's counter blast, you counter charge. You counter blast it. Run four Hermias. This is great for rear guards. When it hits, but then you just, uh, your damage zone to call another card. So if, like say it hit your Vanguard's uh, Vanguard's 10k, 9k since, or just like, you're hitting your grade three, and then your opponent's grade two. So 9k or 10. It attacks, right? Goes into the damage zone. Call something else. If this is behind it, it gets plus nine, and then your your card is plus. That's like a to make columns pretty easily. And then I run the Phoenix Calamity Flame. This is the same uh, plus 2000, so the game is moving exists. It gets placed as a furry card in damage zone, and I run one Metatron. Then break four once per turn. Turn blast and put two of your rear guards in the damage zone face down to call two from your damage. Basically, put them back, call them out. And then when I attack, it's plus. I only have one, because I only have one. I only use one because I only have one. But. It's a 4 draw 5 stand because you want to be attacking in power, so that's what I like about this deck. It's the deck I choose to run for Angel Feathers, so I hope you guys enjoyed this list, and I'll see you guys next time.